Ooh, what's up, my name is Radiant Jeff here. <clears throat> As you can see, it's my face again. So I'll leave to one side before we go on in one second. I need a drink. But it is time for the annual swag slash story video. Right now, I have all my swag scattered around me just so it's easier to get. So I'm going to be going off here, here, and here just to, so you know. Uh, and over here. Oh, that's for later. But anyway, let's start on Tuesday. Okay, one second. As I was saying, <clears throat> on Tuesday, the 15th, I got up at about 6, which is dick o'clock in the morning for me, have a shower, <clears throat> and went downstairs about 7 o'clock, waited for half an hour. When I was doing that, there was a little bunny that came by. I got a foot and a half away from it to take some pictures before it pretty much ran. Which I'm surprised about because usually bunnies like to run. <sighs> got there, no complications. Only thing, too much fucking construction. All I really got to say. <sighs> Let's see, me and my friend went to. <laughs> I got there about 1.30 compared, or 1 o'clock. Compared to about four o'clock, so three hour difference, which I'm happy about. We gotta do some stuff. Well, my friend did, so we went out. Did we saw Avengers Endgame, and with the Endgame, I got this my collector's cup. <sighs> After that, came back. We got some food. We rested. for a bit. Next day we just actually didn't even go anywhere, we just stayed in and waited. Watched a whole bunch of stuff. We started watching Lethal Weapon on Wednesday there. Good series. Thursday came along, we went to the hotel. Still more construction. <clears throat> and on Thursday there was early pass pickup for people who got the pre-reg and I got my angel pass or my VIP pass. I'm not showing it because part of it has my name on it. Oh, there's that. There's also the back of it, which is good. Another lanyard to add to my collection. And then we went and got <coughs> A&W for lunch, because we did not eat at all. After that, we just hung around the hotel room doing jack shit. Play Magic, The Gathering, Smash Bros, all that. <sighs> my other friend was there. Sorry to say, my throat's super dry right now. We used to get the dishes and order pizza, or a little pizza for Little Caesars. Eh. I'm getting to the point where I, <clears throat> pizza's okay, but I really don't want to have that much anymore. Because after so long, it's just starting to go mm, south for me. After that Thursday, we did nothing. Friday came along. We woke up at 8.30. <clears throat> So everyone can have the showers, people can get their cosplays, we can just be ready and ready to go. And we head down at 10 o'clock. Time when the vendor hall is open. We, first thing we do, we get autographs. Actually, I also have this. I have my schedule on my phone, so I'm just going to do that. And I was saying, on there we have... First we had autographs with Wendy Lee. Then, then we went to the AMV Showcase and Jeopardy. Then after that we had, stop it. We had autographs with Mary and Steve. Which, uh, yeah, autographs with Mary and Steve. There's a Q&A I want to go to for another YouTuber, but I was like, nah, he doesn't really interest me. People are saying, hey, it was funny. We went to the air opening ceremonies. It went off without a hitch. That video, some of those videos will be coming soon. And pretty much they said, VIP people, you don't have to go out of the room. <coughs> Sorry about that. You can see right where you are. We have staff come saying, you gotta go. I was like, uh, we were told us VIPs we can just stay here. Really? Goes and asks someone. And he said, okay, sorry. And you have the perfect angle for me? He's like, yep. I do. 
Next up a spotlight with Steve Blue. Then I didn't go to this because we were running short on time and we wanted food and we were hungry. It was Mary Elizabeth and Wendy Lee Women in Animation. I wish I would have gone there. I heard it was good. Plus there was a guy that me and my friend agreed we can bitch slap him when we see him. Because he said something that, well the controversy that's going on with voice acting, and I'm not going to say what it is, you can look it up, but, uh, Mary, she was about to kill the guy. Like, she had to look like, I'm going to fucking jump over the table and kill him. Sort of look. Next, we went to Upbeat Animes. After supper. Then, around, my friend called me, messed me saying, well, about the sausage and all that, so he switched. I said, okay, I'll come do that. We started sausages and cookies. Like we always do. Well, I always give them a sausage. He gives me baked goods every year. So there's that. We had a lull. That means another friend went to Cars Against Odafest. I'm going to say this. Excuse me, for one whole round, I was uncontested. That means everyone would try to challenge me. He's like, ah, cute. No. Because how it goes, someone will say, what's something you learn about? Or what pertains to me? Then you'll pick a, they'll have a card, they'll read it, they'll say, okay, this card, everyone will cheer for it. I'll give you a laugh or something, they say stand up, then we'll have a cheer. Someone else, same thing, someone else tries to challenge you, whoever gets the most cheers, keeps going, or it comes up. <clears throat> so I went one whole round. There's a bunch of Mary, <coughs> God, Mary panel, and I didn't go to that. Wayne Lee autograph didn't go to. This is Saturday, by the way. I went to Mary and Steve again, get more shit signed. Women wasn't meant to work with Wendy Lee, didn't go to that because I didn't have time, because other stuff. Next up was 20 years of Tell Viva. I have that recorded. So you gonna that. Okay, we went to see Cash Guns and Double or Nothing. It was it wasn't us, so we just watched for a second. Me and my friend left. Then, there's another Q, not Q&A, autograph from Mary and Steve. At about 4.30, sir, there's a controversy that happened. I'm not going to say it. It's been dealt with. I'm not even going to say what it is. All I think happened with the autographs. That's all. And it's being dealt with, or has been dealt with. I am not going to say it. All I know is we had people talk to us about it. I don't know, then we had AMV Showcase. It wasn't nothing special. Then we also went to Sail Sailor Moon Werewolf, which was like Town of Salem, where I like to say it's a fun game. Pretty much how it went, you sit in a circle, they explain what the rules are, you draw cards <clears throat> for your rolls. So it's all Sailor Moon based, then you go, say everyone's asleep, which means you just close your eyes and put something over your head so you can't see. They'll say, example, Tuxedo Mask, wake up. Who would you like to protect, protect this night? You point to someone, the moderator of the person in the middle will go, this guy? Yes. Then you close your eyes again. They say, after all the rolls have been done, everyone wake up. Someone's dead. Now pick who you want to accuse. Every time, someone can point to me as like, you know it's not me, it's this person. The other point to me would say, you know he's right, and change their vote. And... It was the first time playing. Three out of the four games I got to the last round, or last hand, like last people there. Last one I got eliminated. Plus there was three people there we didn't like. Two kids and an adult. The two kids need supervision very badly. They are being assholes. And one adult... I don't need the fucking adults are being the ass. I was like, the, per the adult got eliminated. Saying, I'm with this, this person, this, this, and this. Like, shut up, shut up. They kept trying to vote. And they kept flipping around people's cars over, which is against the rules. Uh, other than that, it was a fun game. Then we went to Convention Horror Stories, which there was a lot of them. They were funny. I'm not going to say any of them because they're 18 plus. <coughs> Yeah, that came back to the room, let another friend stay. First, well, first night, on um, Friday, I let someone stay because 
fucking downpouring Friday and Saturday, Thursday and Friday, and a bit Saturday. So let people stay just to be nice and curious so I don't get myself sick. Sunday, we went to Mary and Steve Q&A to get the our file items signed because if something that happened, I'm not going to say still. Then, <laughs> we went to the All Ages Auction, which was fun. It was recorded. Went all good and all that. Then we went to the 18 Plus Auction. As always, that is fun and good. One sec. There that. We did get some stuff, which I'll be showing. And, of course, I actually went to the closing ceremonies for the last time, in, which hasn't happened, in, or not for the last time, went to it, which hasn't happened for about, we'll say 10 plus years, I don't know. I'm sketchy on details sometimes. That was all good. After the auction, we were, hey, we were, me and friend hungry, so he said, here's money, like, we, if someone goes and buys, we'll say, here's 20 bucks to chip in for supper. Excuse me, so we went, I went and got supper. This is a good part. As I was walking, I was texting on my phone because a friend was texting me, just saying hello, how's everything going? And some guys, some guy that was really, really sketchy said, Hey guy, you want to buy five grams of weed? It's only five bucks. I was like, No! Get out of here! As is it, number one. I get to McDonald's. There's a short line. I'm thinking to myself, Okay, there's a short line, not many people here. It can't be that bad. And boy, how I was wrong. So barely wrong. First up, took about 10 minutes to get to be able to order. No big deal, it could be short staffed, so I didn't hold against them. The first thing that happened. Well, this is just me working out and everything. There was. Well, you know the counters where after you order, you look like you order, you go up to it and you take it. So here's a counter. Some guy, because he was getting pissed off, they weren't calling his order, goes up there. He had like two drinks he was supposed to get, so he does this, reaches right over, gets some shit from the staff. He said, you're not supposed to do that. And he goes, yeah, whatever. Then you guys say, you know, that's not really nice. That's disrespectful. You shouldn't do that to the workers. And he said, you want to start something, you, you bitch? And he just started going down from there. He said, Colonel, yeah, you want to start something, bitch? And he's like, yeah, I do. He's like, what do you say? He said, yeah, I do. I'll put you in the ground, Grandpa. Then he started spiraling more and more down. Two of the other guy's friends who I was defending the workers came in and said, look, let's go get him. It's going to be easy and done. I thought there would be a stabbing there, which I did not want at the moment because I was getting hangry, which is hungry and angry. Fair enough. <clears throat> and then after that, you know there's two screens like here, say here's the screen, here's the screen. For showing what orders will come up next. This screen had a whole bunch of orders. This screen over here was for one person. 30 minutes. For, and the whole screen is for one person. But to be fair, the person was doing skip the dishes and... It was pissing the staff off and everyone else there a bit. Because we want our food not to wait 30 minutes to get it. Still the good thing is, everything was made fresh. Uh, matter of that, we I got back all good. Went to my friend's place and we watched the rest of the Lethal Weapon on Monday. Started Excel World, finished it on Tuesday. Watched the movie. Watched John Wick because I haven't seen it because it's a talent. Got home. And I just collapsed because I was tired. Now we film this. Oh yeah, before we get going on with the shuttle. <sighs> Everything was going well. They changed the shuttle so there's not the seats were two and two and two. So we all together. Squished together. Some guy we had to pick up at a bar. Driver doesn't like to go in the bar and yell. After ten minutes away he goes in saying whatever guy's name, guy comes out. Apparently you're allowed to book seats just because like if you're coming for the hospital, surgery or something and you need a specific area. Guy goes and tries to sit behind the driver. He's got the uh, driver, like behind the driver because that's the seat that was, excuse me, say, there says, you can't sit there. So there's like, holy fuck, man, what the fuck are you doing? I can't fucking see what I want. 
Jari said, I'm sorry, but it's reserved. It's up in... Uh, Moose Nighty, so where the fuck do you want me? Like, you can sit wherever you want. I should be able to sit wherever I want. I want to sit there. Like, I'm sorry, it's reserved. And you shouldn't holler at me. Jari said, I didn't holler at you. You know what? No, I'm getting out. Got out. And started screaming and cussing. And, or screaming, cussing, swearing. Calling him every day with the book. Which, it wasn't helpful. So I put it like maybe an hour buying schedule, give or take. <coughs> so when we were going, someone on the shuttle who has been traveling with them for years called the person up and said, I don't think this guy should ever be traveling with us again. He's going to be that disrespectful and all that. Other than that, there was nothing bad that happened. But we shall get right into uh, everything. And just so you know, I have a couple things that are missing. I have a Vulpix and a Gini keychain that's missing from a grab bag that I bought and two pins. So there's that. But let's get right into the autographs. First up, we have a Loveyness signed by Steve Blue. And signed by Wendy Lee, who plays Keo Kale Soup. <coughs> Excuse me. Naruto signed by Wendy Lee and Steve Bloom. And Mary, I think. I can't remember. <coughs> Sailor Moon. It says the movie, but it's. I don't want to buy any Sailor Moon that's going to cost me a lot, so I just pick one Sailor Moon thing and I'll let everyone sign it who's been in Sailor Moon, to be fair. So I'm all three of them. And Vendred, signed by Mary and Steve Bloom. So that's that. Alright, let's see. I also got a shirt. <sighs> so let's stand up so I can show you it. You can see the design. Sorry, just move it everywhere so you can see it. That's that. I always get a shirt whenever I go there. Let's see what else is in the grab bag. Oh, yeah. That. Okay, my friend also gave me this. You can see it's a muck card. One of the originals from Fossil, I think. We have an anime CD from what? I have no idea. Maybe I'll open it and pop it in and see what it is. We have a basketball anime tumbler for coffee. I love these. And look, 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 look. We have a Yaoi Moon Language Manga. It was in the grab bag. You paid 65 bucks with all the tax for it. And there's $135 worth of items in it. There's also a purse that I gave to my friend. Sister. Let's see. Oh, that's behind me. A Pokemon snapback hat. Don't like snapbacks, so I'm going to give that to my artist. Let's see. Let's see. What else? Oh god. <sighs> little tattoo things. No, sorry, nail accessories. So I think maybe one of my female artists. <clears throat> Finally, I was in the grab bag. Was a badass Venusaur doing a solar beam. And there comes these for something. Now we're getting into the stuff that. I won from Cards Against Soda Fest. For going uncontested, I won an Attack on Titan Messenger Bag, which I may use for all my equipment, which will be a bit easier. Which will be good. And I also won this a wall scroll. It's out of this thing because the plastic was ripped. But I need more stuff to hang, so that helps. So let's unfurl it. It is. Ooh, that is very pretty. Lady Death, as I hit my tripod. Never seen it, so... Yeah, but it'll be... I've got one place to hang it. There was also... Unless I threw it... Of course. Oh, goodness. They're still here. Ugh. <sighs> 
There's still one thing I haven't shown from the vendors, but that's because I'm gonna save it for last. Or second last. And the Cowboy Bebop panel, Mary, Spite, Mary, Steve, and Wendy all drew pictures of the cow characters from Cowboy Bebop. Wendy drew Man Fay, which Fay looks like a man. S Steve drew Spike as a railroad spike. And Mary drew this, <clears throat> which I won. They all signed in and everything. Next up, from... From... Christopher Sabat. This whole thing signed from... God, I can't remember what anime it's from, but... Oh well, at least I got something from Christopher Sabat that I'm gonna hang. Now we're getting, we have three items left. <sighs> what one next? We have this. It's a poster, but <clears throat> it is No Game No Life Sign by the Japanese director, which it took us a while to figure out. Two items left. This thing right here is going to be a special thing because I'm going to be doing what my friend's doing. I have to sneeze. Which he's using all the borderlines map for all voice, different voice actors, which is cool. I'm doing the same for a poster. Who does this one? <clears throat> it is the original Gundam Wing Gundam Wing Gundams. Well, almost like ink bleeding. But you can see we have Mary and we have Steve signed, which that thing is going to be going around all for every convention. <clears throat> Mary what? Now, you can see the top of this. I want something to give context. Oda Pest has made a MasterCard. And they had a big plastic cardboard cutout of it. And I won it. As you can see, we have Seth, Vari, eh, Miu, Aurora, my good friend Jenny, who I always like seeing, and Tyler the Auctioneer. So I want this, and it's going to be going to hang up. Because there's a big spot way over there that just just fits it. Not my bunch. So there's that, which I'm happy about. And I think I'm going to be using this for something. What? I have no idea. If I do, I'm going to have to cut some stuff off of it. In editing, not, not here. I would never cut stuff out, but all in all, I got a really good haul. I'm happy about it. Am I tired? You're fucking right, I am. After every convention, I'm always tired. But now I gotta edit this and upload everything, make some promos, make all the other stuff for you to see. So I'll see you on the next part, which will be. I'm sorry, let me do that. I keep doing that every time. But anyway, that is all the time I have. Thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, face, subscribe, and YouTube. All my social media platforms, hit the little bell icon above my name to get notified when I upload. Tattoo videos, gameplay, comment and stuff, unboxing, reviews, whatever else. I record many different things and upload many different things for you guys to see. I shall see you on the next part, which will be... Excuse me, more gameplay stuff. Comment and stuff, because that's going to be starting to go up really soon. Gameplay and a whole bunch of other stuff. So until then, take care, and of course, like always everyone, peace. But before we go, we're going to look one final time at the MasterCard that I won. So see you everyone. I know I'll never be the same Shook my world so hard again Wish I washed away my sins He's a dead man walking Blank stare in his eyes Should've given up on the ones I trust Never should've been surprised When they shot him down Cold blood to the ground